name is Anthony Campbell and I am an analyst with SCM Connections. And today I'm going to be going over a five minute feature for the EPM formatting sheet. So we've all been there. We have a huge presentation of an Excel workbook to do and we want it to look one professional and eye-catching but also not too cluttered. So how are we going to do this without spending hours conditionally formatting, picking out your text colors, underlining, etc. Well there's actually an easy way to do this and it's hiding at the bottom left of your Excel spreadsheet underneath one of your tabs and it's called the EPM formatting sheet. So the EPM formatting sheet actually allows supply chain planners and analysts the ability to change multiple different aspects of your Excel spreadsheet on one dedicated sheet and then duplicate it to each sheet on your workbook. So this is done without your planner having to go through each sheet, changing every single aspect, copying and pasting it over. This then allows them to save time and change one thing and then see it changed on the entire workbook. So let's go ahead and go into IBP and let's see what we can do. So here you see it's just a very basic statistical forecast template. It's not going to catch anyone's eye. It's probably going to put someone to sleep within the first five minutes because it's just plain black and white. So to fix this, to start out, I'm just going to change a few colors. And since it's on Excel, it's very easy to do this. So I'm just going to make this title. Uh, we'll make it white writing with a dark gray fill. So once we scroll over, it's already looking better. It's good contrast. Then I'm going to make this some SCM colors. So I'm going to make this color green with white writing. So that's already looking better. So now how am I going to change the data that's over here? Well, to do that, I'm going to go through the EPM formatting sheet. Now, there's actually two ways to open up the EPM formatting sheet. The first way is through edit view and then clicking view formats. Then once you click left, you'll be able to see the EPM formatting sheet to the left of your current open tab. To hide it, you actually just click view formats again. And then the second way to open up the EPM formatting sheet is to actually right click and click unhide. Once you do that, you can click the EPM formatting sheet and open it up. And then this is your EPM formatting sheet. So it's actually made up of four different categories. So you have hierarchy level formatting. Below that you have dimension member and property formatting. Below that one you have row and column banding. And finally you have page access formatting. But for today, I'm gonna to focus on your dimension member property formatting and your hierarchy level formatting. So up top under the column, I wanna change the calendar weeks to be the same color green that I have on the left side. So to do this under default format, I'm just going to click the header. I'm going to make that green with white writing. And as you can already see, it's bolded already. So let's go ahead and take a look at our work. Check to make sure it worked out. We're going to go over here. We're just going to click refresh. And after a minute or so, we should see the green come through on the calendar weeks. And it did work indeed. So next, we're going to go back over to our EPM, EPM formatting sheet. And we're going to take a look at the dimension member and property formatting. So you see up here, you've got two bullet points, priority to column format and priority to row format. And what that is, is if you have two duplicate formatting ideas in row and column, it's going to take and promote whichever one that you have clicked up here. So for example, I have custom member default format clicked on both sides. So we're just going to click it here. And since I have priority to row format, it's going to apply this one down here rather than the column one, since this is priority. But I'm gonna leave those off. And then below that, you see in this row, imputable member default format. So this is actually really neat because if you have a key figure that you are allowed to edit, if we make this fill white in color, it will change that so that rather than the default of a little gray background, gray fill color, it's now white, making it more identifiable as editable. And below that, we're just going to see these key figures. So I want to actually add a key figure uh, to make statistical forecast pop out a little bit more since that is our current template. So we're just gonna add a member of property, scroll down to the bottom to key figures, and then give you a little search bar up here. So I'm gonna try and type in statistical forecast. If I can type.
All right, so if we go down, statistical, statistical forecast quantity, and then I'll click OK. Once I do that, I'm gonna go over and I see my key figure below. And if I want to remove it or change it, you can actually do that over to the right. So for this one, I want to make the row label, I wanna make that a different color. So I'm going to do that in a blue color. I'm gonna make the text white and I'm going to bold it as well to keep in, in line with my labels up top. So let's go ahead and see if that worked. So again, we're gonna go over to our statistical forecast tab. We'll click refresh and we should see this key figure right here highlighted in blue now. And it has, but wait, now our data over here is in a weird format. So that's actually an easy fix as well. So as you could see before, when we added it, the data is showing without a column separator. So what I wanna do, is I wanna just scroll up. I wanna format painter on the default text and scroll back down and copy that into my statistical forecast quantity. And then finally, I just wanna make sure that the text is black. And then we'll go back over here and click refresh. Once that loads, now it's better and the way I want it. So this is already looking a lot better. This is not gonna put anyone to sleep, but there's just one more thing. I wanna make it so that everyone knows this is an SCM Connections template. So since it's Excel, I can just copy and paste and I'll copy my logo, paste a picture, and I will move it over to the left, to the right. And that has been the EPM formatting sheet. Since I'm done, I'm just gonna go, go back over, right click, hide my tab, and then I can go up top and add this template. That has been the EPM formatting sheet. Again, I'm Anthony Campbell, and thanks for listening.